Welcome back listeners. It's a very nice conversation so far. So let's get to the root of this problem. Why this incident happened? What is the root cause behind this? Can you share your opinion about it? So I think as um, one of our fellow panelists mentioned, you know, this is first and foremost, it seems like it's a case of mistaken, I mistaken identity. But um, going beyond that, you know, I think that uh, if, if we can go a step further, um, even if it is a case of mistaken identity, even if it is not a case of mistaken identity, I think one of the things we have to ask ourselves is why is there um, so much misunderstanding about uh, immigrants in this country? Um, you know, many, many, of, many immigrants in this country are here illegally. In fact, the vast majority of Indians in this country are here illegally. Um, and they are contributing meaningfully to the economic fabric of this country. But you know, if you, if you really look around, and I'll, I'll take Dallas as an example, if you look at how integrated we are into the broader community, we're really not very integrated. If you look at where the vast majority of Indians live here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we live in, in pockets, uh, highly concentrated pockets, um, in places like Frisco, Irving, Plano, uh, Allen, um, and we're not well integrated throughout the community. If you look at you know, um, our, our involvement in community, uh, community uh, service and, uh, and community engagement, we're not very active. Um, you know, you, we, and so there, there is a lot of, um, there are a lot of unknowns for people who are not familiar with Indians, for people who are not familiar with the difference between a Hindu You're and a Muslim. You're talking about integration with respect to like you are integrated internally with your own community, but you are not integrating with Americans or the other people. Actually, no, no, no. I, uh, can I go in? Yeah, sure, uh, if sure. you don't mind. Uh, I was part of uh, India Association, and uh, uh, I was a, a member of the board. During that time, I made a, a active effort. We have a big events like Ananda Bazaar. So my, I was in charge at that time to uh, uh, community outreach. I reached out to city mayors city managers, elected officials, congressmen, local congressmen, U.S. congressmen. Idea was to bring them and expose them to the community that gathering 20, 30,000 people at one place. Look at the strength of that community. Look at what they're bringing, how many jobs we are creating, how many hospitals are surviving in this country because of Indian doctors serving it. If you take the census, there are about more than 45 percent of Indi uh, uh, medical workforce, Indian uh, doctors are all Indians. Right. So if we are coming, uh, look at all the entrepreneurs now, young entrepreneurs who are coming in IT industry. We are creating so many jobs. I think that's so, really. So the thing is, uh, the point is, uh, even part of uh, Diwali Mela, I was one of the founding member of the Diwali Mela, and we, the, the, the purpose at that time when we started was, the idea is to, we're going to uh, do this event in a big stadium. And all of us, in all Indians, you need to bring your neighbor. Invite your neighbor who is American, bring them to our uh, activities. Right. Or go join their activities. That's how yeah, even this our This is the right way to do it. Yeah, I have, I right have an experience to, to share in, in this context. You know, I am involved in few non-profit organizations. I have an habit of inviting uh, my friends. Uh, since I am an entrepreneur, I have an opportunity to interact with uh, my American friends. You know, I don't know whether it's right to say American friends, but uh, uh, the friends who actively live here, you know, contribute back. You know, I, I invite them and they love and enjoy the show. Yeah. And after enjoying the show, they thank us. Hey, man, you know, I don't have time or I didn't have an opportunity to travel back to India to experience your culture. And thanks for inviting. So uh, this one or few incident happening here and there does not change uh, our opinion about uh, this country. Uh, you know, we all respect and love this country to the core. And a few misunderstanding. And this few misunderstanding happening because they don't pay attention to the details. So that is that is what my opinion. If I may add a couple of things, a community integration with the mainstream America, of course, Neelam, I think you uh, hit it on the uh, head. But there are a couple of other important things. This problem is a multifaceted problem. Lack of education about India and Indian contribution in the mainstream America is one of the reasons. For example, we know that 30 to 35 percent of uh, Indians are really contributing to the major corporations, for example, IBM, Apple, Microsoft, all of these. 
we have rarely heard from those companies about Indian contribution in the mainstream. So mainstream Americans, a lot of time there is a myth, right? Oh, Indians are taking away our, our jobs. That myth is, I mean, unfortunately, a lot of Indian entrepreneurs are creating jobs in this country. A lot of Indian software engineers are contributing to the economy. And there are a lot of positive things that need to be communicated and then percolated into the mainstream so that they don't see Indians and confuse with some other identity. I think that's number one. And the second thing is government, what government is doing about the hate crime and all of those things. But that's not a one day problem. I think like you said, right, it's been there for ages. And awareness and education is the key thing. What we can do, Indian community can do is educate the mainstream community. And then the corporations need to do the same thing and government need to do the same thing. So it's really a multifaceted problem. If we all can come together, converge on the issues, I think we can have better education. We can avoid this unfortunate incident in the future. I would agree with that. And if I can add to what you were saying and, and to what you were saying, and I think you know a lot of community leaders um, have taken steps to engage the political community. I know at our chamber, we're regularly engaging the political community, Governor Abbott, of uh, the state of Texas governor was our keynote speaker last year and of course we have the um, president and chairman of the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas this year uh, and so we, you know, we're always engaging community leaders in meaningful ways but I think that we have to go a step further it's not just about inviting them to attend our events and show them how great our culture is on one day or two days or for major functions you know I really think it's about engaging with them on a consistent and regular basis and and encouraging them. You know, for example, the state of Kansas doesn't have a state level hate crimes law. There is a law at the federal level, there is not a law at the state level. And then when it comes to local versus federal enforcement, there becomes an issue. So what are we as a community doing to engage with our local law enforcement agencies? Are we engaging with our local police forces? Are we engaging with our local elected officials um, in order to encourage a, understanding, as you mentioned, of our community. B, show support for the things that they do to protect us every single day, things that we may or may not know anything about. There are lots of incidents, of, you know, terror incidents that are, that are you know, stopped before they ever happen, and those are our law enforcement doing something for us. When are we stopping to say thank you as a community? I think, so, there, and there are, you know, again, we engage with, with our elected officials, with police at different times, but we need to do more of that as a community. I'll tell you one thing, you know, and I'm going to go very straight on this. We are in America, but we are like in the same divided states of India in, in America. We have Telugu Association, we have Rajput Association. The Indian Association of North Texas is, um, is I think it's a, it, 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 it like does not involve the community as a whole, like India. Why are we making all these kind of associations? L let me ask you one thing. There is a Telugu Association which has got members like I think. So how many members are there in Telugu Association? Thousands and thousands. So, you know, in the sense, like, Jitta bhi mein thoda Hindi mein bhi because there are people, you know, watching in India also and Saudi Arabia also. So it's not about only America. It's the people uh, there in, in India are, you know, very nervous about it. So that unno ko, uske baare pata nahi hai exactly what America is. So the point is, Indian Association Honachi Ek, you know, it should be like one. And from there, you can have the chapters going to Telugu and because everybody has to get together. Abhi kuch bhi Andhra mein hota hai, to Dilli wala help nahi karta hai. Dilli mein kuch hota hai, to Andhra wala help nahi karta hai. This is the root cause. Abhi ye jo aadmi hai, jin ki death hui hai, in kitte saare North India jo inka naam bhi pronounce nahi kar paayin. I have a slight uh, difference, uh, <coughs> no. different approach, approach thought for you. The reason why, you know, uh, every the Tamil community, we have Tamil association, we have Telangana association, because we are very slow, closely associated with our uh, lifestyle, our religious, our belief and practice. That, that is the reason why they are closely associated with uh, that association. Nothing other than that, it doesn't mean that they don't want to get involved in… Uh, no, they in are not getting involved, I'm telling you. Can I, if I can, can chime I in, if I can chime in, one second actually, this is not a debate about organizations because I think every… No, but we have to make no. the correction, right? right. The correction I agree, from the I top. Agree with, I agree with If you don't point. make correction at the top, we can have debates right. on and on. There will be more shootouts here. Tomorrow, a I, child… One thing I strongly agree with you that the Indian uh, Association 
should get involved actively involved actively involved with all the organization correct. it has to act as a number law i completely correct. agree with you right. that's what i'm saying and there is a room so for improvement yeah. i completely yeah. agree and it's very nice that we did the integration part mm -hmm. like neelima was saying and the next point what he brought up is really important so you have to have it as an umbrella and under that bring all the bring associations all the association together so that way you, know? you show a strength if that right. this kind of incident happen immediately the next day were we able to do something about it no that's the reality at this point right we are all talking about this but nothing has in action happened and we need to be in that stage well, one, that one question one thing regarding the action together. you know recently indian chamber of commerce reached tamil association because i'm also part of the executive committee so they reached us and we have a return understanding a return arrangement between both the non profit organization to exchange the events to exchange the member benefits that is a very great initiative taken by Same indian thing. chamber of yeah. one Same important thing we need to do it for others as well gomti ji if, if i may one important point we're all missing maybe some of you are missing is language is actually the root of our culture so we have to preserve our culture so it's okay to have tamil association telugu association because our culture is being preserved we still indians and uh, of course we have to do better to integrate more and educate more and then help more one unfortunately especially those coming to united states for the first time you have to really understand how you can be uh, at least be you know learn and uh, behave in public and what to do and what not to do this is a different country it's a land of opportunity and immigrant land of immigrants but you also need to know the loss of the land so that you don't have to provoke <coughs> things and the same can I, can, and I? can i add one more uh, to that uh, basically there are two we have responsibilities as an organizations we have responsibilities as a corporate social responsibility not many corporates are uh, getting involved in the mainstream that's important the bottom line is the the, the place we're living this is our home our kids going to be here we are not going back to india very few people go back to india so let's get that out of our system act like you know we are americans we are living in america this is our home this is we are part of this society and then all the corporations whoever making money they they have a social corporate responsibility they need to go back to the uh, communities here and they need to start whatever uh, task they wanted to take educate them we we are good at math we are good at uh, software programming educate take them go to some communities set, set up a classes training classes so they know we are contributing in not only for profit uh, until now we've been doing for profit we are have a jobs so, so as a doctor a as a doctor he's delivering his services for money as an engineer we're doing a job but as a social responsibility we're not volunteering enough to go into the mainstream one, i think one, one one point to address add with you sir is you know respectively uh from indian community when you compare with the number of people associated with a corporate a number of people associate with an entrepreneurs the percentage is very very minimal maybe one percentage even not one percentage i could say so the corporate people are they are going in the morning they are coming in the evening they have a weekends spend the time with family do everything take and care of everything they are going back they are on a scheduled job so so if we are giving a message we have to give a message very carefully to the two community once you are an entrepreneur get involved give an opportunity for irrespective of any race or anything give equal opportunity i would say if you are working in any corporate our sincere uh, request is get involved with the people those who live here you know go along very well with them yeah if i can add to what you were saying arn um and to what you were saying about engaging with the local community and and being a part of it i think you know there are really several ways we need to do that i think one is whether you work as an individual organization or even as an individual family or even as an individual person we can all make time to go and volunteer in our local community there are there are, the number of homeless people in Dallas is alarmingly high the number of people who are living at a poverty level is very very high i um serve on the board of an organization called communities and schools of the Dallas region we serve over 10,000 public school children attending Dallas ISD and surrounding districts who are living uh, who are considered at risk over 10,000 students right here in Dallas but you very rarely see people from our community going and getting involved engaging with these kids engaging being a mentor and and engaging with them in a way that encourages them to a understand our community but b shows them that we're here and a part of their community 
and, and investing in our community as, as a whole. So I think that's one thing that we it, can do at an individual level. It's a very positive level. approach. Like, you know, we have to be involved with the community, be with the Americans as, a, like, as part of them, right? That's a very good start. I think we are going to continue our conversation, taking a small break, and we will come back and we will start with Monsi because okay. she was about to say something, and we have to give her a chance. Thank you.